Hello everyone, am I audible and visible? Let me know that we'll start. Am I audible and visible? Let me know. Am I audible and visible? Hello Ali, welcome to my class. I know you are there. Very good. Fine. So, hello everyone. Welcome to my class. Myself Dr. Deepthi Karya. I am MD PhD Physiology and I am your educator for Physiology. Okay? Okay, fine. Uh -huh. Before starting my class, I would like to tell you all that at the end of my class, I have a surprise for all of you. So, please watch my class till end. We have a very good surprise. I have already discussed in my WhatsApp group. Okay, so those who are with my WhatsApp group, they also can uh, get the surprise and those who are watching me, they also can get the chance to participate in that one. Fine. So let us start. Before starting, I would like to inform you that all my notes, they are available in soft copy and hard copy. To get the soft copy, you have to download the application Vesalius and you have to subscribe for the same. And for hard copy, you have to get my book that is physiology notes available on Flipkart as well as on the Amazon. Fine. Now, let us start our today's topic. One of the important topics. So many times this topic may be asked as a short note. Functions of saliva or the question may be full question like composition. Composition we have discussed in our previous class. Okay. So that also you can get composition and functions of saliva. Saliva is one of the very important secretion. It has so many important functions. And at the end of my class, uh, definitely I will keep my promises. Okay. At the end of my class, I will give you mnemonic to remember all the functions. Okay. So stay connected. Join me till the end of the class. Okay. Fine. So you will get the mnemonic also so that you can easily remember all the functions at the end of my class. This is a short class. I am trying to make short topics and uh, make it clear that you can easily understand, you can easily remember the whole thing which is there. You have to require. Fine. So now let us start our topic. Functions of saliva. So first function of saliva that is protective function. Okay. Saliva, how it protects our oral cavity? First thing, if we have taken hot or irritant food, this hot and irritant food gets diluted by saliva. Fine. So, because if the food is very hot, it may injure our mucous membrane of the oral cavity. So, that is protected by diluting function of saliva. That is one thing. Okay. Second important thing here is uh, how it protects. It protects our oral cavity from bacteria. How from bacteria? Because whatever food particles are there collected in our oral cavity after we have taken food, these are washed away by saliva. Okay. So, if these food particles, they are remaining that uh, there is growth of bacteria okay and this bacterial gro growth that results in caries in our tooth and all okay so that is also prevented by saliva that is second important function third important function is certain bacteria are directly destroyed by some substances which are present in our saliva they are number one is lysosomes <coughs> lysosome uh, or lysozyme this is enzyme Sorry, this is lysozyme typing mistake is there. Which has bactericidal action. Bactericidal, what is the meaning of bactericidal? Bacteria, cidal means destruction. Bactericidal action, destruction of bacteria. Okay. Another important substance in the saliva is immunoglobulin A, IgA. Okay. This provides defense against bacteria as well as viruses. Bacteria and viruses okay another important substance in the saliva is lactoferrin this lactoferrin has bacteriostatic action now what is the difference between bacteriocidal and bacteriostatic action bactericidal suppose you must have heard the word suicide side means suicide means death destruction and static means stoppage so it prevents stops multiplication of bacteria okay fine and another important function is suppose sometimes the person is having regurgitation 
प्रॉब्लम मीन्स रिगर्जिटेशन ऑफ एच सी एल एच सी एल इज प्रेजेंट इन डाइजेस्टिव जूस और बाइल इफ इट गेट्स रिगर्जिटेटेड दिस एच सी एल एंड बाइल दैट इज ऑल्सो डायलूटेड अदरवाइज वॉट हैपन्स दिस एच सी एसिड इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट इट कैन डैमेज अवर ईसोफेगस इट कैन डैमेज अवर ओरल कैविटी ऑल्सो सो दिस इज फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज प्रोटेक्टिव फंक्शन सेकेंड फंक्शन इज मैस्टिकेशन चुविंग फॉर चुविंग वी रिक्वायर सलाइवा हाउ बिकॉज सलाइवा गेट्स मिक्सड विद द फूड पार्टिकल ओके वेन सलाइवा गेट्स मिक्सड विद द फूड पार्टिकल वॉट हैपन्स इट फॉर्म्स अ बोलस एंड वेन द बोलस इज फॉर्म इट इज ईजी टू गेट स्वॉलो सो फॉर मैस्टिकेशन आफ्टर मैस्टिकेशन द फूड इज ईजीली स्वॉलोड सो फॉर स्वॉलोइंग ऑल्सो दिस सलाइवा मिक्सचर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फाइन नेक्स्ट इज डाइजेस्टिव फंक्शन वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ सलाइवा सलाइवा कॉज इज डाइजेशन ऑफ स्टार्च ओके स्टार्च इज डाइजेस्टिव बाई विच सलाइवरी एमाइल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट एमाइल इज टाइली ऑल्सो नोन एज सलाइवरी आल्फा अमाइल इज ओके सो हाउ हाउ इट वर्क वी विल डिस्कस सो दिस सलाइवरी आल्फा अमाइल इज दैट हेल्प इन द डाइजेशन ऑफ स्टार्च ओके Starch is converted. How I will discuss you. You can see here. Salivary amylase. Other name for the salivary amylase is alpha amylase. Okay. This alpha amylase acts on <coughs> alpha one four linkages. Now you can see here. Suppose you have a starch. Sorry, this is spelling mistake. Starch. <coughs> this starch. Okay. This starch has. It is having multiple branches of your. This. carbohydrate okay 1 4 and 1 6 linkages are there but this 1 4 linkages are broken down by your salivary amylase so your starch is converted into maltose initially this boiled starch which gives blue color very important thing one thing i have forgotten to tell you here is boiled starch only is acted upon by salivary amylase not the raw starch okay raw starch is acted upon <coughs> starch is acted upon by your pancreatic amylase this is more, stronger amylase as compared to salivary amylase fine so this boiled starch which gives blue color with iodine that is first converted into erythrodextrin that gives red color then acrodextrin okay acrodextrin is converted into isomaltose and maltose okay so this way this amylase acts on the boiled starch and convert it into maltose okay another important thing here so this is the first digestive function of saliva okay ha uh, another important thing is this action of the salivary amylase is optimum at which ph at ph 6.5 to 7 this is very important thing between 6.5 to 7 ph only this your alpha amylase is active fine okay another important digestive function that is digestion of triglyceride triglyceride gets digested by lipase this lipase is secreted by certain other glands lingual glands so lingual lipase but that is also there in the saliva okay so that is also the function of saliva so we discussed three functions number one is protection second mastication and deglutition third is digestive function fourth function we will discuss that is taste sensation one of the very important function of saliva taste sensation by taste sensation because taste is a chemical sense okay and it is sensed by taste buds you can see here <coughs> these are the taste buds taste buds are present in the papillae of the lung of the sorry tongue these are the papillae your foliate filiform fungiform okay this papillae they have this taste buds and this test buds are stimulated when your food mixed with the saliva it spreads here so for that food must be spread on this test buds okay to get the test this is the reason suppose if you wish to uh, take some medicine you are not chewing the medicine why because we if we chew the medicine it gets mixed with the saliva it gets applied on the test buds and you get the test and the taste is bitter as you all know so we just swallow it with milk or with water 
Okay, why? To avoid the taste sensation. So for taste, we definitely require saliva. Fine. <clears throat> Another important function of saliva is speech. Why role in the speech? Because saliva lubricates our oral cavity. No? Oral cavity has, we have mouth, tongue, teeth and all. You might have experienced that when you are going for the viva. You cannot speak well. Why? Because your salivary secretion decreases. What is the reason for decreasing the salivary secretion? That is sympathetic activity. Exaggerated sympathetic activity results in decreased salivary secretion. And where the salivary secretion decreases, this lubricating function decreases and <clears throat> our speech gets affected. So this is also very important for movement, facilitating the movement of lips, tongue and other parts of the oral cavity which are required for the speech function. Another important function is excretory function. Saliva excretes certain heavy metals, metals, then thiocyanate, okay, iron, alcohol, and morphine also is a drug that also can be excreted in the saliva. So this is the other function. I repeat all the functions starting with first one, protective function, mastication and deglutition, Third function, digestive function. Fourth is test. Five, speech. Second, excretory function. Now, seventh is in the temperature regulation, okay? When there is dehydration in human being, and this is more important in animals, but what happens in human being when the temperature increases or you can say when there is dehydration, salivary secretion decreases. So, we feel thirsty, okay? Thirst sensation. That also regulates our body temperature because we take the food oh sorry we take the fluid fine then next is painting mechanism painting mechanism mechanism is found in animals commonly you might have seen dog sitting and uh, drooling the saliva okay and by drooling the saliva it evaporates the heat because here along with that drooling the saliva heat gets evaporated heat is evaporated and this way these animals, they regulate their temperature. So, this is seventh function. I repeat all the functions starting with first is protective function. Second function of saliva, that is, what is the second function? If you have attended the class, you must be knowing. Second, that is mastication, deglutition. Third is digestive function. Fourth function, that is role in the test sensation, speech, excretory function, temperature regulation, okay? Another important function as we have discussed, that is, Water balance, how saliva regulates water balance as we have discussed. There is thirst mechanism. When our body water decreases, what happens? Water decreases, solute concentration increases. So, the saliva secretion decreases. We feel thirsty, dry mouth. Okay, and when the person takes fluid, then again the blood volume increases, solute concentration decreases. Fine. So, helps in water balance. Okay. Next one, next function that is huh, maintains oral pH at 7. Hmm? Another important thing is at this pH, you can see here, this is the critical pH of saliva. You can see here, as we have discussed, all the enzymes they act at the pH of 6.5 to 7. Okay. Another, uh, how this pH is maintained? Because certain buffers and Proline rich proteins, proline rich proteins, they are present in the saliva. This proline rich proteins and buffer, they bind with the toxic substances and they maintain this pH 6.5 to 7. Okay, and at this pH, what is the important benefit at this pH is? At this pH, what happens? Saliva is saturated with calcium. So, this calcium will not be lost from teeth. So saliva keeps the calcium inside the teeth. So the teeth will, teeth enamel is protected. But if the pH gets acidic, what happens? The calcium ions are lost from the teeth. So this is also important function of the saliva, maintains the pH and at the alkaline pH, saliva gets bound with the calcium ion and calcium lost from the teeth is protected. Fine. Also, saliva has excretory function, okay, excretory function, excretion of which things are excreted, it excretes glucagon, it excretes somatostatin, 
and in some species renin and now growth factors also they get excreted but that uh, function is not known how this excretion takes place that is not uh, much known till date okay so these are all the functions of saliva fine mm, just a minute one more thing i would like to explain uh, just a minute uh, before that uh, i have uh, just a minute one mm -hmm. okay fine Huh. Now I repeat all the functions as I told you I will enumerate you all the functions of saliva and I will make it easy for you to remember I will give mnemonic also for the same okay so now there is a time for the mnemonic okay so let us uh, remember as I told you first function of the saliva that is protection sorry here first function is protection okay second function is mastication okay and deglutition hmm? mastication and deglutition fine third fourth digestion fifth is taste sensation sixth one that is speech seventh one excretory function Eighth one, temperature regulation. Ninth one, pH. Tenth one, I am just uh, jumbling some of the your uh, functions, okay, to make a mnemonic, okay, pH. Then next is water balance, that is H2O. You can also write down along with me. And eleven, that is hormones some of the hormones are excreted so these are 11 functions how can we remember you can see here pm protection and mastication this is a mnemonic pm then ddt okay then set 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 okay and ph fine so this way you can remember this is a mnemonic pm first then ddt you can easily remember set pH, excretory temperature and again here not pm here ph ph water hormones okay so is it clear for all you can easily remember all the functions okay again i repeat the mnemonic and the function p for protection m for mastication then ddt deglutition digestion and test then six speech seven excretory acidity and temperature set and pH set the pH you can easily remember P for pH H for water H2O and hormones okay so this way you can easily remember some of the applied aspect also we will discuss here one we have already discussed that is paralytic secretion and right? we have discussed in last class also what is paralytic secretion this was carried out an experiment was carried out by cloud always write down the uh, write down uh, applied aspect okay so paralytic secretion my battery is turning uh, low so you may have just for a while we have few minutes left only so paralytic secretion was taken by cloud bernard that the nerve was cut then initially the secretion rises then it remains for three weeks and then again it decreases so this is paralytic secretion here this is the applied aspect so thank you so much for i am not going in detail of other uh, applied aspect okay and now it is time for the announcement that we have a link of whatsapp group my whatsapp number is 7863822668 okay fine so you join my whatsapp group and at the end of this month i have a lucky draw and the winner gets my book copy free of cost okay so please join me on my whatsapp group or the link for the whatsapp group is also there in the description box fine Thank you so much. Thanks for being with me. Okay.